what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here this is going to be my spoiler free review for black widow just got out of a press screening watching this film tonight you'll be hearing this on wednesday afternoon when i upload it but just to jump into the premise now this is taking place in between civil war captain america civil war and infinity war so following the events of captain america civil war natasha romanoff again played by scarlett johansson who does another great job in this as this character she finds herself alone and forced to confront a dangerous conspiracy with ties to her past pursued by a force that will stop at nothing to bring her down romanoff must deal with her history as a spy and the broken relationship left in wake left in her wake long before she became an avenger now the film itself was directed by uh Kate Shortland and it was written by Eric Pearson it stars Scarlett Johansson Florence Pugh David Harbour O.T. Fagbino William Hurt Ray Winstone and Rachel Weisz or Weiss now I believe this is overall like the 24th film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe if I'm not mistaken and this is supposed to be Black Widow's standalone film not supposed to be it is <laughs> um and my honest my honest thoughts just to start off with i will say that i enjoyed this movie i liked it but it is not a proper standalone film i'm just going to be honest on that regard natasha is made out to be like i think there was an assumption just going into this that the audience will just already be attached to this character given the the time that we've been spent with uh johansson as this character since the first appearance for her in iron man 2 i believe so there's not a lot of attention and growth for Natasha and when I say growth I mean they don't necessarily go as deep into the backstory as I know a lot of people will want the film starts off uh wonderfully giving you hope that it's going to do that with a proper flashback set in 1995 then it jumps to modern times right after civil war but then it kind of just turns into something else that's not really about I won't say it's not about Natasha, but it's like Natasha, she's not given the proper backstory that I know a lot of you will understand once you see the film. She is outshined by Florence Pugh, who does an amazing job as Yelena Belova, who's like the sister figure to Romanoff, trained in the Red Room as a Black Widow. I don't know what the why there is a decision to, I guess, put more attention on setting up Yelena for future pro projects then there was giving a proper send-off to this character because for marvel fans myself included if you've seen endgame you know what happens to natasha you know what this character's fate is so for us to get a standalone film that kind of doesn't even feel like a send-off it feels more so just like another marvel black marvel movie that's that happens to be a black widow uh a black widow based adventure let's say it doesn't feel like a send-off it feels like just another movie that is underwhelming in being a goodbye to this character and all the stuff johansson has done in this role over the years the villain in this film is very lackluster in my opinion not i would say one of the weakest mcu villains i've ever had the pleasure of witnessing uh draco who's the head of the red room with this with his army of black widows he's one of the worst marvel villains to date uh now i'll just talk about the technical stuff some more the acting is phenomenal again florence Pugh, she is breathtaking and she honestly i feel like audiences because of the way Atten the attention was put on her you're going to feel that emotional weight that this film is trying to search for but it never really seems to achieve it all the way uh you'll feel that through Florence Pugh and I, I I want to say you'll connect more with this character because of the way she kind of just naturally she's she's a Florence Pugh herself she's a fantastic actress she impressed me with midsummer i was impressed with her and many of the other projects she had been in prior to that the movie she did about Paige's life she's a tremendous act actress and the thing is it's not forced she just steals the spotlight from uh johansson who kind of seems like she is just more underwhelming in her portrayal this time around she still does a great job and i i would even argue that perhaps this is her best portrayal of natasha but with florence Pugh, every time she's in a scene she is just going to 
take the attention away from Natasha. And most of that comes from the direct direction choices to put more of an interest in setting up Yelena for future projects than giving fans of Black Widow a proper fulfilling send off and backstory digging deep deeper into the origins about Black Widow. There's clearly a sense of them holding back throughout this film. And again, like I said, there's pacing issues. Um, the movie starts off so strong. You're on the edge of your seat and then flat lines. Great action sequences when the action sequences are there. But when there's no action, it's like the dialogue between the characters. And there's chemistry between these actors and actresses. Don't get me wrong. Especially David Harbour and... Um, Who's the Red Guardian? David Harbour plays the Red Guardian. Another father, like a father figure. There's a whole family dynamic between Johansson, Harbour, Pugh, and Weiss. Their whole chemistry is fulfilling enough to at least keep you engaged while you're watching. But I would say the heart of this film was from David Harbour and Florence Pugh. They were just that good in their roles. Uh... And I feel like there was a lot of assumptions to be made that audiences would just be attached to Natasha. So let's not provide much backstory on a Natasha solo film. I, I, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. The movie, again, is it's paced oddly. It starts out strong. Then it has its slow moments and the dialogue between these characters at times. While while comedic, it does grow tiring it. You want to see this the action when it's happening. But then when it's not happening, you're kind of just sitting there, I'll say. The movie does feel kind of sluggish at times just because of how it's paced. The action sequences, when they're happening, they're phenomenal. Breathtaking, everything you would expect from a Marvel film. I would actually argue that these are a lot more intense than the Mortal Kombat action sequences. I would say I felt every punch, felt the impact at times, uh, more so than I did with the Mortal Kombat movies. I'm going to give Black Widow, honestly... In terms of being a well-made film, I, I like it again. I, I did like it. I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you have it, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and miss a video. In the description, I have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there. Of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. But a lot of mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.